NFTs, metaverse, cryptocurrencies, and Web3. These are all topics that are becoming more and more prominent as time goes on in our daily lives. Now, I always wondered what NFTs are and how people are making millions of dollars just by a digital piece of artwork. Well, I've decided to research on NFTs and how you can actually make your own NFT at home. So now let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to show you what NFTs are and the use cases of NFTs, how people actually do use them in real life. Then we'll get straight into the demo of actually creating our own NFT. We'll go to, we're going to use OpenSea, which is a common trading website for NFTs. And first of all, we're going to create a collection, which is basically just like a folder for all of your NFTs. Then we're going to make our own NFT with the name and image. Then we're going to have to connect our own wallet so that we can receive money whenever people buy our NFT. And we're going to do the final steps. So let's get into it. First of all, what are NFTs? Well, NFTs actually stand for non-fungible tokens. Now, this just means that an NFT is a token that you can collect. And when I say non-fungible, that means it isn't fungible, meaning that each token is unique and can only be owned by however many tokens are minted by the creator digitally. And we're actually going to mint our own a number of tokens today. Now, these tokens are just digital assets or data that are stored in the blockchain as data. Now, the blockchain is just a system for recording data which a bunch, with a bunch of features to make it transparent and unhackable. It's basically just a digital letter, ledger of data that's distributed across a bunch of com all the computers on the network instead of just one main computer that could get hacked and then everything else would get hacked. Instead, the data is on all the computers so that even if you hack one of the computers, then all of the others still have the data. Now, the data is stored on what are called blocks, which are chained together, hence the name blockchain. Now, whenever you buy an NFT, just that no one else can claim it, you get a proof of ownership of the NFT, so that you know who actually owns it. Now, a question I had when I was first researching was that couldn't people just copy and paste the image of the NFT and if they wanted it? Well, yes, technically you could co copy and paste the image, r but the people who do actually buy NFTs with their money buy it for the ownership of it, or the proof of ownership, rather than the physical aspect of it. For example, if you went to like an art, art exhibit or something, you could just take a picture of a painting there, but you still don't really own it. That's where the proof of ownership comes in. And yeah, that's just a basic, simple explanation of what NFTs actually are. Now, what are the use cases of NFTs, and what types of NFTs actually are there? Well, the first use case is music. So I'm going to go to OpenSea to actually show you guys. So if we go to OpenSea.io, this is just a common trading trading facility for NFTs. So you can see disco discover, collect, and sell extraordinary NFTs. And then as you can see, there's already some of the notable drops it says but if i go to explore collections then collections like i said it's just like a folder of different M nfts so here we have trending top art collectibles domain names first i'm going to show you music i've i've just collected the four main nft types just so that you guys can see so as you can see we there's a bunch of collections of like for example if you see snoop dog if we click on that then you can see there's a bunch of nfts for that that you can actually buy then if we say for ex then if we see for example um for example you can see the duck song meme so there's a bunch of nfts for that also that you can actually buy these are just scenes so as you can see music is one of the nft types that people actually do buy and it's one of the most popular then the next NFT type is in-game assets. So now lots of games owners and creators, they create NFTs of in-game assets that you can collect so that people buy the NFT and also they go to the game. And you can see these in many different places, in many different categories over here. The next type of NFT is the most popular that most people actually buy and it's one of the most expensive also. So artworks and collectibles. So you can see that in these two over here, art and collectibles. So first we have art and then this is just like really nice looking art. Like for example, I really like the Three Land World um, artworks. They're just really random but really cool. So people buy these NFTs and they're very expensive, especially some of them. 
And then if we go to collectibles, collectibles is a little bit different. It has a bunch of collections, and then each of them, they're just very small icons or something that you can collect. Although NFTs are very diverse, so they can be really anything you want. They could be any picture, any collectible, anything like that. And finally, we have trading tradable cards or tokens. Like, for example, Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards are actually being turned into NFTs right now also. So NFTs could be just basically anything you want it to be within a certain category. Now, let's take this to the next level. Now that you know what an NFT actually is, let's create our own NFT. All right, so now I'm going to go to OpenSea, the open the NFT marketplace. So that's OpenSea.io. And as you can see here, we have all of our NFTs that we can buy. But now what we're going to do in this video is create an NFT. So if you can see the top, the top tab here, the top navigation bar, you can see we can search item collections and accounts. So if you have any specific NFT that you want to buy, then you can just search that right here and then you can find it explore stats resources and finally we have create now to create your nft nft you have to press create but first of all if you haven't signed out then first i'm gonna just log out real quick just so that i can show you guys so it'll first of all it'll ask you connect to your wallet now i'm gonna connect my wallet with metamask because i already have metamask metamask is just basically a digital wallet that's inside of your computer to store cryptocurrencies digital assets just digital and things like that so the most common two wallets that people connect is metamask and coinbase wallet but if you have other things like for example phantom glow or wallet connect you can use those two now i'm going to click metamask and then here it has my notification it asks if i want to connect it to our open open c marketplace and i'm going to press sign so that we can actually connect it and then now as you can see i've logged into my open c account as you can see i don't really have a username or anything but I'm just going to create our NFT. So now it says create new item, image, video, audio, or 3D model. So you can create an NFT with basically anything you want. So I'm going to use an image that I have. So I'm just going to go to that folder. All right, so I'm just going to go to that folder here and it says NFT picture. That's the same picture that was in the thumbnail. So here we go. I'm going to press open here. And as you can see, it cuts off a little bit, but that's okay. So then for item name, I'm going to say maybe like a uh, blue ocean painting and then i'm gonna say number one just just in case we have any more so then for an external link if you want to include more information about an nft obviously this painting it doesn't mean much it's just a painting but if you're gonna do things which have background information that you want to include then you would include your link for that here if you have extra stuff then for a description i'm just gonna write a quick description of the painting All right, so there's just a quick description I just wrote about the painting, and you can write anything you want. You can like link other things. You can do whatever you want in the description. This is just gonna be like for whenever people wanna buy this, if they wanna read a little bit about it before they buy it. Then you can see this is the collection where your item will appear. Collections are basically like folders for NFTs. Now there's gonna be a bunch of different collections you can own based on like if you wanna categorize your NFTs, if you have more than one. But in this case, I'm not going to I'm just not going to use a collection because I'm just going to put this in my account because I'm not going to have more than one of these. But if you do, then there, that's where that would go. And now all of these are just um, now all of these properties and stuff attributes. These are all optional, but I'm going to add some. So properties are just textual traits that will add show up whenever people are buying them. So, for example, just like traits about the painting. So maybe color, I'll put blue. And I'll add one more, maybe like type painting and then maybe paint, I'll say acrylic because that's what I t used, acrylic. And then I'm going to press save. Now, as you can see, it'll show up like this whenever people want to buy the NFT. Now, levels, this will be like a progress bar. This I could see, it could be useful if you're going to do in-game assets, but I don't use that, so it's fine. Stats, numerical traits, I don't really have any stats for this painting. And then all of this stuff, we don't need. These are all optional, but it helps to add more and more traits so that people will look up to your painting more and more whenever they want to buy it. Now for the blockchain, I'm going to do Polygon blockchain because that's just a blockchain that works with Ethereum. And then for the supply, I'm going to do maybe like maybe 10 
So 10 NFTs will be created of this painting. And then I'm gonna press create. Now almost done, I'm not a robot, obviously. And then it just has a little captcha thing here. So I believe, yeah, those are traffic lights. And then yeah, there we go. So now it should create us our NFT of that painting. All right, so it's saying, please wait. And oh, all right, let's see what this is. I'm just going to go back and yeah, if I reloaded the page, then there we go. So as you can see, it's an untitled collection because I didn't create a collection yet. But here we have blue, Ash blue ocean painting number one. And here you can see we have the description, the properties, everything. So you can see in everything, all of the traits, we have that. And then obviously we have the real NFT. Now, this is just on our side, but if we want it to be available to people everywhere so that they can actually buy it and we can actually earn money, then what we're gonna need to do is press sell. Now, I'm gonna list this item, which is Blue Ocean Painting number one. I'm gonna list this for sale on the OpenSea's marketplace. So quantity, I have 10. So I'm gonna sell maybe like five for now. So price per unit, this is in Ethereum. And Ethereum's like $1,000, something like around that much price. So I'm gonna put 0 0.004, let's see how much money that is. Yeah, that's $7.36. Maybe I'm gonna do like 0 0.005. Yeah, that's $9. So for duration, if you want it to like end, end in a certain amount of time so that people have a certain time limit to buy it, then you can do that. I'm just going to keep it as one month, which is the default. And then it says fees. Listing is free. Once sold, the following fees will be deducted, which means that whenever you, whenever someone buys it, they'll take 2.5%, which isn't that much. That's okay. And I'm just going to press complete listing. So it says unlock selling functionality, submit a transaction with your wallet. This is just standard procedure so that we can actually create our Ethereum so that we can actually set up our wallet with our NFT so that we can actually sell it. So I'm going to press unlock here and then you can see MetaMask notification and it's nothing. It's And it's just saying that we need to sign this. So I'm going to press this down arrow and then sign and then hopefully it works. Let's just unlock the selling functionality. All right. And there we go. So as you can see, it has a check mark. So now number two is unlock the currency. So it's saying, again, submit a transaction. This only needs to be done once. I'm going to press unlock. And then here we have another notification. We need to press the down arrow again. Make sure you press this arrow here so that you can actually scroll down all the way and then sign it so that it makes sure that you read it first. So then I'm going to press sign. And then it should work after a bit. All right, there we go. So that one worked also. And now the last thing we need to do is switch our wallet's RPC to the Polygon network by pressing switch here. And then here, last thing we need to do is press the X button here and then, okay, and then press approve. Yes, I want to switch network because I don't have anything else. And then I'm just gonna press sign so that I can sign the message with the wallet. Finally, we're gonna press the down arrow one last time and press sign. Then, yeah, there we go. So as you can see, our NFT is listed. Now I'm gonna copy the link real quick, but then if I go to my profile, then here you go. Oh wait, let me go out. Okay, so here we go. So we have our unnamed collection because obviously we didn't make a collection name, but if you're gonna do that, then there you go. And then finally, we have our NFT right here listed on the market. So we have blue ocean painting number one. And obviously no one actually bought it yet because I just listed it, but if you'd like to buy it, you can actually buy it. I'll put the link in the description right now. And so I'm going to go back to regular OpenSea and I'll actually open up the link because I copy pasted the link. And here we go. So OpenSea, yeah, there we go. We have our Blue Ocean painting number one. And then this NFT, the current price is $9.20 per NFT. And yeah, this is now a digital asset that I own on the OpenSea market. Now, it was a really cool thing that I can create my own NFT and you can even create multiple as part of a collection. So there we go. That's how to create your own NFT on the OpenSea mar Marketplace. All right, so that was creating our own NFT on the OpenSea Marketplace so that we can buy and sell our own NFT in our collection. Now, I'm going to be making more of these such Web3 crypto NFT related videos, so stay tuned for those. Thanks very much for watching. If y'all had any doubts, please comment down below. I'd love to help you out if you're stuck with any NFT-related questions or issues. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Until then, you can learn anything.